Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Hey guys. So guys, today we are going to work on another secret journaling spot. Uh, I am going to just use some of these papers. I did print off some more. And I did remember to put the, uh, the thing below, the um, Etsy page below. So, what's wrong baby? No. Oh. Okay, so... Uh, this is an idea. It's not my original idea. It was from one of my subscribers. And so I'm going to show you this. I think I forgot. Could you give me that glue? I forgot to grab my glue. Here we go. And I think she did it from an envelope. And she used like a greeting card envelope. This one's not very, well, it's four inches. That, that will work. So I'm just going to fold it. It This one does have a pocket, but I'm not going to use it. So Just some I had in my junk mail. Oh, um, let's see. You don't have to use a pocket or an envelope. This does make it sturdier. And then we are going to just cover this. So just the front. So we could call this the front. So because this is going to be glued down. Let me see what I have. Let's see what kind of scraps and stuff I already have. Let's use this one. We haven't used that one yet. It's not scrap, but it'll be fine. Um, my paper cutter is... Sorry, it's the cat. Oh, thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> that's four inches, so I'm just going to do like four and a half and kind of make it maybe around that a little. It is chilly, guys. It is snowed a little bit last night, but this morning it is windy and cold out there. I had to run out to the studio. Okay, so let's do four and a half or so. Four and a half wide. And then let me see how and we'll do like five there. It can be a little bit over five, that's fine. I'm going to do a few of them, so let me do one more. Do it out of this paper. Because I'm going to, I think I'm going to try to make three in this video. We'll see how that turns out. <laughs> Sorry, the cats are playing and screaming and... Wilbur, really? <laughs> Was that right there? Sounded yeah. like it was in the kitchen. No. I fed the outside cats. Oh. They wouldn't. They wouldn't let me leave without feeding them. So about four and a half. You want me to get on to a little one and tell them leave you alone? Uh -huh. Okay, and then maybe we'll make like a pink one to go in one of the pink journals. gonna be that kind of day guys it's early I mean it's 9 30 so pretty early huh so I am going to let's go ahead and pop pop this on and then we'll just kind of wrap it around just use an art glitter glue somebody asked me where I got these bottles I got them off of Amazon I think we have it listed below but I'm not sure and I totally forgot to answer her. I'm going to just put a little here. I don't know. I just want a little overhang on both sides. That way I can kind of tuck it and make it look nice.
so it looks like we lost another lady to COVID um, of the crafting community. Melody Lane passed away. I don't know if you guys know her. I used to follow her way back when. But it's been for I mean ages since I followed her. She does a bunch, did a bunch of cricket videos. But I don't really have the same kind of cricket that she had. But I guess her and her son, I'm not really sure of the circumstances, but her and her son, I think, visited Las Vegas or something and came down with COVID. And her son was supposed to head back home, but sadly not her. So I think she passed on the 15th. Yeah, it is sad. Just heartbreaking, you know. But let's see what else is going on. Oh, Gracie Land went to the doctor. She's still okay, but she's still having issues. Her um, blood work wasn't as good. She's not back down to anemia, but it's going back down. So they're gonna have to do more testing for Gracie and find out what's going on. So I'll do that in a few weeks. Please pray, pray for Christina. Yes, please pray for Christina. She is, she, she's one that talks to us on the um, things below, the comments, and it's like fairy something. Yeah. And I was, she had written me, and I didn't realize it, and so I wrote her back, and her husband responded and said she was, she was rushed into the emergent, into emergency surgery for brain surgery. So, definitely please keep her in your prayers. So, we are going to glue this here on both sides, and then we'll sew it probably. You don't have to sew it, maybe we won't. But he did say that she's doing really well. So, but definitely keep her in your prayers. So much going on these days, I tell you. Okay, so there's one of our pockets, but I'm going to punch a hole on the top for like a thumb hole. So this is where the fold is. Yeah, we probably will set, sew it because then that would be open. Either that or I would need to glue it. I guess it wouldn't matter. Sew it right now? No, I would probably sew it later. Yeah, I guess if you don't mind. Yeah. Let me find my ink blender. I can blend it later. Okay, uh, you're gonna leave this part open, the bottom, so it just needs to go that through the loop hole and then down. If you're sure you don't mind. Clint's not feeling very good today. Neither of us are really, but you know. Is this trash? Yes. I just didn't have the trash by me. This one, and I'll show you the secret secret journaling spot. Honey, are you sure I can move? Oops, sorry. I don't feel like this thing is holding it right. Oh, it's not. Huh. It's wrong. Oh, did you move the the thing underneath? That? No, the little foot. No. Because hmm. it was kind of bending, and I couldn't see why. And then yeah, it was. I see it. it bent backwards. Back out. Okay. So 
So again, same thing. Easy, easy. Like I said, you could just fold a piece of paper down and use that, which I think is what we might do on the on the next one. You just don't want the bottom, baby. Did I give it to you? Yeah, I'm still afraid. I wonder where I put it. Oh, there it is. Unfortunately, I do still have a migraine. It's been two days now, two or three days. So, it was so bad yesterday, so Clint took the baby down. We kind of had to trick her again. She's not happy with us. <laughs> she was fine, though. Clint had her had her listening to... Uh, big well, band music. Big band music. For a while, but I couldn't handle it. I guess it's not into it as much as I do. <laughs> He's, he wrote me and said, do you think she'll like, what was it, 40s? 40s yeah. music? I said, I don't know. He said, I don't know if she liked it or not, but I couldn't stand it, so I just turned the channel. <laughs> he said, I could tell she didn't like something because you could tell by the expression on her face. <laughs> We're talking about a cat, guys, in case you're new. This one. So... so that way, that way, and that Yeah, just not at the bottom. Yep, because I need to keep that open. Okay. And then we'll fill that under. Envelopes just make this so easy. And you're not, you know, kind of wasting your paper. You're just kind of using scraps and stuff. This will give it like a, a nice look. <laughs> Cats are funny. They were playing in a um, box earlier. And suddenly the box was upside down and one of the cats was in it. So it's like, uh, I think that's Bubba, which he's a pretty good sized cat, so we just let him figure his way out. Didn't take him long. But I was thinking, oh no, if the baby's in there, you know. Her eyes still don't look very good. Probably have to end up taking her to the vet as well. I like that paper. Okay, and then we're gonna do that too. Just a thumb. Okay, and then the same one on this one. Okay, since I do have this, let's just use it. Let me see. Do I have any more paper? And then I'll show you how we use just paper to make one. These are the other ones. The other ones are I think they're in the next mm. Mm -hmm. I backed it. So. Oh, thank you. It's nice, though, to use up your envelopes. <laughs> you quit. Man. <laughs> Wait, that keeps chilling. I know. I know. 
he's just playing, but she's, like we said earlier, she's a drama queen. She's like, yeah. About five and a half. Last night, I was thinking about that movie Overboard with uh, Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. So I found it on Amazon, and like every five minutes, it would shut down, and it was so annoying. Okay. <laughs> Amazon Prime, yeah. Oh, I thought you were watching on that Peacock. Thing. No, they didn't have it on Peacock, I don't think. But man, th no, that was Amazon Prime that kept having all those issues. It was so annoying, and I was so tired because I took a muscle relaxer, so I couldn't even finish watching the, uh-oh, oh well. I didn't center it. <laughs> it's fine. It'll be fine. paper. But I, I used to love that overboard movie. It's so funny. blenders today if you haven't picked one up now's your time um sale continues through the first 21st sorry so monday hope i can finish this one out Can you see if you can squish that? Thank you. It's kind of hard. Thank you. There we go. I guess I can hand it to you. Thank you. Oh. Now let's show you how to make one out of just regular paper. So let's do it. Probably be quite a bit smaller unless I use like different paper. Let's see what scraps and stuff I have around. You can do it out of any paper. But like this one is about three inches. So let's do like three by eight. And then we'll make it about four inches tall. Ten. Maybe this is easier. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I just really wanted to use this paper. Thick stuff. That one's really thick, yeah. See, that's pretty simple, but you know, if you want to use and for cardstock, it's really good. The other one kind of gives it more 
bulk. So we're going to make secret tech spots, secret journaling spots out of these guys. And then this one, which is pretty easy. Okay, so what we're going to do is add um, journaling cards in the bottom. So if you guys have been with me for a while, you have most likely uh, seen this done several times on my channel. Uh, one of my subscribers sent me, I don't remember who it was. And she said that she, um, I think she was inspired by something I did. And I lo loved the idea. But, you know, it's another one of those easy ones, which is nice, because some of those really long ones are kind of, yeah, they take, take the toll on you. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of measure where the stitching is. Let's do three and a half. And this will go in here like this. Perfect. Okay. We'll do the same for the other one just because. This one, I'm going to fold it just a little bit off like this, just so that a little bit sticks out, and then I'll need to trim it because there we go. Let's do that to this one too. It's okay, it won't, it won't hurt anything. Sorry, I cut it wrong. There we go. I just want a touch showing so it's easier. Let me trim this off. Had some white, some white showing that I didn't want to. These you could definitely make in advance. There you go. So you're going to have a little bit showing. Let's do these since I have them out. I have all the stuff I made over here. This might work. wanted to, we could go ahead and fold it like there. And then that will just 
poke out just a little. We'll make it poke out. Okay. Then this one I need to cut down. So, um, three and a half. I think I'm going to try to measure it from outside. Okay. And then we'll try to score it. my scissors and then I'll probably ink it before I put it on in the journal in a journal okay, okay so now that you have your tags let's see like this this paper kind of cracked on me so. now that we have our tags we're gonna do our secret spot and Clint, I don't think we need, um, I don't think we really want lace on these, so we're just going to use ribbon. Might use lace on these too. And I just ran out and got some ribbon because I have tons of ribbon. So. blends in, doesn't it? And then, let's see. Don't want to... Huh? Okay. Then what about green for this one? Green. Okay. Let's than if I would have used <laughs> paper tack. Oops. Eh, I'll leave it out here. Um, paper tack. So you have a choice. You can either put it right here on the bottom or you can put it right here. So this one's kind of curly. So I think I'm going to put it here. That way I can glue the whole thing down. I did go on and look on YouTube this morning, YouTube and Pinterest, and I found some new hidden tuck spots uh, from all you guys out there. You may have seen them. I hadn't seen them before. So I think I will add them to my series and then of course tag, tag the person. And then one thing that I made years ago, people are just, yeah, just making it all over the place. So that, that's kind of fun to see. under there and pull it out. Make sure it's not glued down or anything. It does have a little glue on it. And then you can just journal there. Pretty simple. This one, let's actually put it on, because this one's flat, really flat. So we'll actually put it on the journaling card. And you're going to do it the same way. You're just going to do a little tiny bit here the edge. I'm surprised you turn that over. And the, oh, I didn't think about it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And then just glue that down right there on the edge. And then when you push it up, that ribbon is going to cover up the, uh, the top. 
top, hopefully. That's my plan, anyways. I'm going to let it dry a little bit. And then these I need lace for. So let me grab some lace. Actually, I have this lace. Right here. Yeah, that's beautiful. I'll use this. I would definitely I make some of these for my stash. Seriously, Bobo? Because you could really um, build up your stash and just pull them out and throw them in your journals. They could be a floating pocket if you wanted, or, you know, I, I think I'm going to glue mine down and then... But I try to use like a really heavy lace when I do these, just to kind of hide, hide the secret spot. And then same on this one, but do we want to do it kind of like what we did on the other one? Where it actually is down here. I think I'm just going to put it across. That way, if it was like a flat lace, I might put it on the actual journaling card. And I thought about writing up something like little on sticky notes or something. And put like, um, when I mail these out, the journals put secret journaling spot or something, you know, just so that they can, um, they know what they're looking at. Because I might have a bunch of coming up. Pretty simple, huh? Let's try this one again. And we still have time. We still have a lot of time. So this one, it's not coming up like I want it to. So what I was thinking is I probably should have put um, foam tape on it. Might have to redo it. Okay, that's not going to make me happy. In fact, that's going to annoy me. So, we'll save this for something else. Let's... This one will work. And I have fall tape still. So, let me grab that. Okay, and then we'll just put it on this one. I think it'll be so much easier. Just having a little bit of a lift. <laughs> I'm gonna look see if I have a thicker uh, ribbon in here. I have a bunch of ribbon. This is only part of it. <laughs> I thought, I'm just going to take the whole thing in because I wasn't sure what color I wanted, you know. Do I have any thick, though? That's the question. Okay, so I'm going to try something else. They're all the same width. I'm going to use this one this time. There is a little piece of Let's try. 
try that. Big piece. Very pretty though, isn't it? Seam binding. Try to layer. See how that works out for us. Fabri-Tec down just to make sure it stays long-term. layer it so I'll put like another one here so maybe it's not as noticeable the lace ones were easy <laughs> down and go up nicely so that that's good sometimes you just have to come up with something else don't you easier to put it like on the top but I wanted it you know kind of kind of different here and there kind of make a little bit of a difference but when you put it in your book it's just gonna look like a pocket just like a little decorative pocket and then if you wanted to you could do you know something on the front let's see do we want to do anything on these maybe let me put this up This one's kind of plain. This one, I think I'm going to leave it like that. I think that's kind of cute. But this one, let's decorate it. I have a doily, maybe. It's kind of pretty. I think I have more than one. here. See, that's what I needed. <laughs> that would work. Oh well, it is what it is, huh? <clears throat> it is what it is. Maybe like one of those, but in um, Rooms. 
here's like a it's not quite the right color <coughs> more of those um, things out, chipboard out in the studio, but yeah, I had to slam the door a bunch and probably not going to be good on my headache. It might be cute like behind it. So when you're gluing this down, you would just glue it down here crossed so you know you know for sure that this is a pocket and it looks like that's pretty much it but you know there's a secret in there Clint will be back in a day or two to finish up that journal but I don't think I'm gonna show a lot of it on on um, video on how I do the inside so it'll be I mean I'll do, obviously I'll do a flip through but not a uh, like follow along with me type thing okay where are you you are in here somewhere <laughs> something's in here somewhere to go surely I'll find something in here Probably already picked out all my yellow stuff, but I mean yellow pink stuff. Ooh, here's a pink rose. Maybe that's what it needed. That'll be cute. Maybe a little. I wish I had my ink blender. Let me see where it could be. Clint was, you know, since I did this last, he had to kind of clean up a little bit, and so now that's kind of on my A. So let me see if I can find that. I don't like all this white, though I could trim it, I guess. Let's just trim it off, because I don't see that anywhere. little scissors. I'm not a big fan of the white um, edges showing through. So typically I would like blend them with ink. But my ink, hold, ink blender holder things here. But I don't see my uh, blender. I may moved it yesterday because I did help him kind of clean up a little. Let's see, that might have been the only part. Oh, let me do this part over here. go ahead and glue it down. That's why I'm not waiting to just do it later when I find it. So I don't know when I'll find it. But like this part in the center I can glue I can do that one later too.
guys are enjoying this series. Like I said, I have at least 20 ideas. Did I already say that? But yeah, I uh, was writing down, you know, what I want to do and stuff. And yeah, like 20 ideas. So I'm kind of excited about that. spots are ones that I, I use quite a bit in my journals. So. Somebody said, I haven't seen this one. I haven't seen this one either. <laughs> yeah, typically they're just me and sometimes I don't share, you know, them as often as I would like to. So, I'd really like a smaller card. Let me see if I can find one. Wait, it's bigger, but it's kind of, I have all different sizes of stuff in here. Uh, maybe. Oh, maybe this, this is just a cut off. I'm ready to use this. It's already decorated. Sometimes that's just so nice. Sometimes I think, I'll never use this, but I do, you know. You think, oh, this is perfect. That's one I thought I would never use. <laughs> so I don't worry too much about what I make. I just kind of make it whatever I think. I figure sooner or later I'll want it for a journal. And that's kind of worked out really well. Like if you're making a bunch for your um, scrapbook or something. I mean for your stash. Just make them out of all different kinds of paper. You could use up tons of paper. Tons of um, envelopes. If you, you know, went that way. Okay, here's, here's some stuff. Okay, let's see what we have. So I really like that, kind of like that. Let's see what else we have. Kind of like that actually. Scraps because that's a lot of times, you know. It's kind of cute, and then I have this piece. I don't know, I just thought it might go somewhere. No, maybe not. I kind of like that though. There's a lot going on, but it, I kind of like it. So let's glue this down. Now this part I would probably wait uh, to decorate until you know for sure what book it's going into. I know that all these colors that I'm doing now, these pieces, I can incorporate them into my book. Sometimes it's easier to make ephemera when um, you have an idea of what book you're going to use, you know. 
want that to go under. make these into paper clips to just use you know a smaller piece of paper in fact I've done that recently actually so we'll probably revisit that in this series like paper clips secret drawing spots there we go guys All kinds of secret journaling. I love it. So, let me show you the ones that we got done. And we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. Didn't even put that lace on there, did I? Oh well. So this is the ephemera we got done for secret journaling spots pockets, which is kind of fun. I might come back later. I'm thinking about like a yellow right across the seam. I think that would be really pretty. Let me see if I have yellow. I think I do actually. I don't know. It just feels like it needs something to kind of finish it. Yellow, where are you? Maybe I don't. I'll just put one across. Just play with it until you're happy with it. Yeah, I like that better. doesn't feel finished like it is, you know. Cute. <clears throat> I love it, guys. These are always so fun to make. I'll put this here because it's just sitting there. There we go. So, yeah, so we got four in less than an hour. And, you know, you could really knock these out, like I said, just. Decorate with some scraps. Take your envelopes and knock them out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And we'll see you in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye guys.